Welcome back everyone to the next part of this amazing series. We have two amazing interns with us and this time they are undergrad students. You are from which school? University of Waterloo. Waterloo and UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley. Badalog. <laughs> cool. So without wasting time, let's get started and head to our video. So hi Jasmine and hi Rex. Could you introduce yourself? Uh, Jasmine. Um, hi, I'm Jasmine. I am um, a CS student at the University of Waterloo. Um, and could you tell us something about your course that you're taking and what team you're interning at? What courses I'm taking? Um, I'm just taking like a standard like CS. Like I'm just going through a standard CS degree, but I'm specializing in hum human computer interaction. So I'm taking wow. a lot of design and like project scoping courses as well. And right now I'm an intern on the automation platform team. And uh, as a software developer? As a SWE intern, yes. Perfect. What about you, Rex? Yeah, um, I'm currently a rising junior at UC Berkeley studying computer science. And yeah, my first two years of school, I've mainly just studied like the basics of CS, algorithms, data structures. And yeah, the past summer I was a front-end developer intern um, on the Lightning-based components team. So the team basically just creates the front-end components for all of Salesforce. and. Yeah, that was my summer initiative. Cool. So when did you get to know about that Salesforce is hiring software developer interns and how did you apply? Was it via referral? How was it? Um, yeah, so I I think I just found out through like an online like application sharing like Post, like <laughs> post on Reddit or something, or and then um, I think this was like early September and then I got the, I got a hacker rate. Right? Oh, wait, wait, what do you? Yeah. Oh, how did I apply? I just applied online um, over, like, on Workday, like, yeah. No referral, nothing. Direct application. Interesting. Well, my roommate actually got, well, roommate in Berkeley actually got into Salesforce first, um, I think, last November. And then I, that's how I got introduced to the company as a whole. And I just applied online um, without a referral. Without a referral. Yeah. So, it, indeed, without a referral, things to work. Surprising. <laughs> I mean, in case of what I have seen so far, without referral, they didn't even call you back. But yeah, interesting. interesting. Okay, interesting question. Without disclosing the question, we have signed an interview. <laughs> Please don't do that. Oh, can you tell us how was your interview experience like? How many rounds did you have? Um, how, f I mean, was it on the same day, multiple days, everything that you can share? Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, so I, like, after, like, applying online, a couple days later, I got a hacker rank invite, um, filled out the hacker rank, um, literally the last day <laughs> that I, that I had to fill it out, um, and then a week later, I got an email, um, like, asking, like, to schedule an interview, like, and then I had an interview, I had two interviews, one 30-minute, like, a behavioral interview with the hiring manager, and then a 45 minute, I believe, or an hour long. Uh, hour long. Yeah, um, hour long, like technical interview with an engineer on the team. Um, and like these were back to back interviews on the same day. And then I heard back, like literally a couple hours after that interview, about my offer. Um, oh. The one thing I will say though is that um, I did go to GHC, like Grace Hopper Conference, last year. Um, so that may have been why my like interview process was so expedited um but yeah interesting so in the second round the technical round how difficult were the questions lead code easy medium hard if you want to categorize them um i'd say they were like easy medium ish like nothing too crazy um like yeah leaning to more towards the easier, easier side, side i would say single question two question three four um, questions Okay, so I guess like the interesting thing was there was a leak code portion to the interview, but there were also just some like trivia questions, just like questions about like things that you would know of, like just que just some general questions about like Computer tech science. concepts. Con yeah. Concepts. yeah, let's stop there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Rex, how was your experience? Yeah, so I also had the hacker rank. Um, so after the hacker rank, about a week. After I got a call from the recruiter, and we basically went over my resume, my past experiences, projects, and oh, wow. after that, um, we set up two one-hour interviews um, back to back. So I think that was like on a Wednesday, and then the next Wednesday from like one to three p.m. 
Um, so the first one was a behavioral interview with my scrum master, okay. and he basically just asked about um, again like projects, experiences, and um, so that was kind of mainly behavioral. And then the next interview was with my manager, and my manager gave me a fully code easy question. But since I was applying for front end role, um, she added some like front end twist on it at the end. So um, kind of how you would apply it to like a front end development role, like how you put on a website or like a mobile app, and you kind of just kind of, I guess, use your systems design knowledge in some sense <laughs> of how you would actually integrate your solution into the real world. Real world so scenario. That was like the whole process. And I think I waited probably like half a week to a week after that for my offer. Cool. So this is the general census so far. They get back within 14 days. Like you were lucky because of GHB, <laughs> I guess. But yeah. yeah. If Let's step back. How did you start preparing for your internship search or internship? Um, what like, resources did you use? Did you do any special? Do you mean like internship search in general or like specifically for this internship? In general. Um, in general, I think I just started with um, like leak coding. Lead code. um, I like have taken or at that like last summer I had taken a data structures course at that point and was about to like take enroll in an algorithms course. Um, but there's like a ton of like resources online like CodePath has like and it, like it has like a very nice um, document that explains a lot, like the basic like algorithms and data structures you need. So just like taking like a quick read through of that can like set you up with like the basics for most like like the the basic building blocks for most type of questions you'll see. Um, so just like going over that and then just like starting to do questions like I don't know like you just start and do as many as you can. Um, but closer to um, like a certain company's interview, like I would like filter questions on LeetCode. I did get LeetCode Premium for a couple months while I was doing my interview search or my internship search. So I would like filter by company and like do a couple of questions from the company in order to prep for them. Interesting. Same thing or something different? All um, similar. So I guess my preparation was composed of two parts. The first okay. was just LeetCode. I did mainly the blind 75, just learning the data structures and algorithms. And then the second part was actually learning like specific front end things. So okay. JavaScript, React, um, the different frameworks of front end that there are. <laughs> um, just like learning the intricacies of those and being able to answer like general technical questions on the front end side. So that was kind of my interview prep for Salesforce. Which one is your favorite front end? Go to framework. Uh, React library, not framework, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, correct, correct, yeah correct. React bad. is what I use mainly. So interesting. So I mean, I'm pretty sure you got multiple offers. So why Salesforce? What inspired you to take Salesforce? Uh, I mean, hmm. be honest. <laughs> just be honest. Yeah, I know this it is a could great be the, question. It could be the building. It could be the. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, um, so I did get another offer from also a like pretty ne like cool company and I think my main reason for choosing Salesforce over the other company was a it was based in like my offer was based in San Francisco whereas the other one was based in um, like a suburb in Seattle um, and I like I want I really wanted to be in California um, and then the other thing was I just had a really nice recruiting experience like I mentioned before um, like I applied within a week, I, or I did my hacker rank within a week, I got, like, I didn't get ghosted, I got an email about, like, setting up interviews, after my interviews, I literally got an offer, like, I took, I, after my interview, I took a nap, I wake up from my nap and I have an offer, and I was like, <laughs> cool, <laughs> um, so it was just such a great recruiting process, and then, like, even after I got the offer, my recruiter was like, like, I don't know, he, like, we kept in touch, and he worked really hard to, like, make sure I was, like, happy with it, and, like, answered any questions I had, so I just had a really great experience with the process, and so I um, was willing, or like really wanted to like, I don't know, join after that experience. Interesting. Yeah, so. Was it your roommates? <laughs> that was probably part of it. That was probably initially while I was leaning towards Salesforce, but I think after that, um, first like location so, um, in San Francisco, I think I really wanted to do an internship in my university career um, to be in San Francisco for one of my internships, so that was a reason. And secondly, I just think um, Salesforce really cared about their employees, just like from the recruiter process. They like give wellness stipends, they like kind of check in on you to make sure that like you have all your questions answered. And they, I guess just overall, I felt like a genuine show of care for my recruiter and from like the company as a whole. So I thought I'd be like a really respected employee at Salesforce versus some of the other companies that I applied to or got offers from um, didn't show that much, I guess, appreciation for the interns. So that was one of like a really big reason why I chose Salesforce.
And are you sure you're not missing ping pong table and just playing all day? Um, I didn't know there was a table tennis table until I got here. So it was actually a great surprise. I, I never see you on desk. I always see you on that. <laughs> After oh. workout. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Cool. So can people reach out to you on LinkedIn if, you know, they are, they have any more questions like, I'm an undergrad, I don't have work experience, how do I apply? Some sort of that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, Links are in the description. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, feel free to check those out. And when below. you are watching them, hitting them up, you can just hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Please. Yeah, if you're in the description anyway, the button is just right there, you know. Yeah. Few things which you, I mean, things which you wish you knew before applying to Salesforce or any tips before, I mean, people are applying for them. Any special tips or? Before applying? I can start. Um, yeah. I guess the first thing is just to network a lot. Um, I actually reached out to a lot of people like from my universe that interned at Salesforce before and they really gave a comprehensive image um, of the interview process and kind of what the company expects in their interns and in the interview process. So that was like a really great help and just, just general areas of study like front end knowledge, lead code, and that's like great for that. Um, in terms of, I guess, choosing a company, I think that's also networking as well. I spoke, like these employees told me like the culture is really great. Um, you're not like overworked all the time. And yeah, I think just networking and networking more is kind of the answer to everything. Yeah. How about you? Any special tips that you would like to give? Um, like anything I knew before I applied. To be honest, I don't like, I feel like I don't think a lot about like <laughs> things before I apply. Usually, um, like a lot of like the bigger companies, um, like Waterloo does, so the University of Waterloo has like a huge like co-op internship program. So a lot of like undergrads like end up having like several internships. So like there are like- Seven. Yeah, like I will graduate with around six to seven internships, which is super cool. Um, but- How many? Six to seven. In four years? Five. Okay. five years my degree gets extended because of that but because of that like there are like certain companies that i've like seen just like pop up like at my school or like on my school's like, job board so usually i just like i either like apply through my school's job board or if i'm applying on like externally i just like re like i look for names i recognize or like companies that like i've seen somewhere and like i resonate with what they do um but yeah, I don't. I usually don't think that much before applying, and then I just like apply, and if something happens, I'll figure it out. Later. <laughs> cool. Favorite memory from your internship, or favorite spot in this building, <laughs> except for I know the answer. Except for sixty first floor. <laughs> I and ping, and ping pong table. Oh, ping pong. Why no not? ping pong table. No. <laughs> Fair. Something else. Um, my favorite memory, honestly, just like. Anything, like, with the other intern class, to be honest. Like, the thing that's made this summer, like, I, for context, this is my fourth internship. Um, my first three were all like, completely remote. Ouch. So, which is kind of sad. I didn't get to make any friends this summer. Um, there are so many, like, people here, and I've got, like, I've had the chance to, like, meet, network, and just, like, hang out with so many people, and I feel like I'm going to leave this summer, like, having actual, like, you know, like, being friends with the people that I, like, worked with, um, instead of it just being, like, a, oh, hey, let's connect on LinkedIn, and, like, maybe reach out for referrals, but nothing else, like, I don't know, like, I think well, Salesforce definitely cares a lot about, about its interns, they organize so many events for us, like, they have an entire, Sorry. like, intern floor for us, like, they make it so easy and like encourage us to like interact and network with each other that um I don't know like there's so many like little moments like just like going to someone's desk and like chatting like after work or like walking to get coffee together or playing ping pong because your build is taking 20 minutes to like run like you know just stuff like that that like it's not one single memory but just like that essence that will make this an unforgettable internship for me wow <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Except for ping pong. How about the ping pong event? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, the ping pong event. Okay, so last Thursday, um, we had a huge ping pong event at Spin. Not an event, a proper tournament. Yeah, uh, a tournament. Uh, tournament. Event and tournament. Yeah. Um, so that was really fun. So basically, like 10 table tennis tables instead of one. So yeah. amazing. Check out my <laughs> internship event playlist for more details. Yeah, shameless plug in. Oh. Cool. What? Would you recommend Future Force team to make or improve something which you think was not 
up to the mark for this specific summer. For this specific if they, if any, I mean they were awesome, but if any. Yeah. Um. I think, like. Okay, so um, I guess like for, like as I mentioned before, like I have had other internships before, and at least in Canada, the standard for internships is usually like fourteen to sixteen weeks. So, um, and my internship this summer was twelve weeks long. So I am used to internships being a bit longer, and I feel like with Salesforce being like the huge company that it is, sometimes it can be harder to like onboard or like you know just like get ramped up to everything. So having to do that, and like. I don't know, like being in like a time crunch of like a 12 week internship plus all of the intern events that they like, you know, that we're so lucky to have, like sometimes it can be like hard to like actually like, you know, like be able to have that like much of an impact or like, I don't know, like put as much time into your project. So I wish there was an option to like extend your internship or make it like a bit longer. I'm um, just so like, we, I don't know, we had more time to like put into our work. How about you? More table tennis tables? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> or free food as well. That's also a good option. <laughs> One of those two, or both. Nice, nice. Those are a pretty solid answer as well. I should change my answer. <laughs> okay, last but not the least. Think about all the events that we had. Top three events. Rank them in the order of best. Okay, average. Very top difficult. three events. I mean, if they're top three, then they're all like awesome, right? <laughs> like you don't you don't really have to stack okay, that. Okay, top three. Um, Rex, you go for this time. All right. Uh, table tennis tournament number one, clear first place. <laughs> um, second one was um the first event we had a like I guess networking kind of connecting with the interns event on the sixty first floor, which was really great. Um, that's probably second, and then third. Um, I guess the volunteering event was really cool. We went to um, a local park in San Francisco. We helped kind of the workers there clean up the park a little and kind of make it look very nice. So it was really great to like give back to the community that we're living in. And um, it was also like a great experience to like work with other interns on something that's actually meaningful. Like that's outside of tech. <laughs> the only event which I couldn't attend. I <laughs> so regret that. <laughs> but yeah, how about you? Um, okay. I'm gonna try to be original and not say ping pong for the first one. No, it can be so, anything. I mean, it's... let's go with like the city tour event. So, um, one of our events was um like at Spark Social, which is like just like this field that has like a bunch of like food trucks and like just like a bunch of like food that you can like try. Um, and there's like a bunch of like board games and like just games and stuff like that as well. And we were able like when we attended that event, we got unlimited food. There were so many board games. Um, the music was fire, you know, like the, it was, it was just like a very nice time to like hang out with your friends. And this was also like one of the weeks that like a new batch of interns joined. So it was a great way to like meet new people as well. Um, so that was pretty fun. Um, and then I guess second would be like the ping pong tournament. Um, there's no like doubt that Salesforce, um, has a pretty, at least like this summer, I've noticed that there's been pretty strong ping pong culture so can't um forget about that event at all um and then yeah i get think like the third one would be like a volunteer event because um like one of the first things i learned about salesforce so when i was like researching the company before my interview was um like how big they are in philanthropy and like how much they like care um and it's great to like see them like see that like all the way down like to like the internship level and like you know like from like, I don't know, like, a, it's great to see, like, that, like, value that, like, you know, the CEOs, like, or the, the, um, the, the execs, company, like, company, yeah, like, yeah. preaches, but, like, you know, you get to, like, see it, like, at all levels, and we got to participate in something like that. So, yeah. That's good. So, that's it. I hope <laughs> the information was helpful. Reach out to them on LinkedIn. Say them, thank you for doing this. And <laughs> subscribe if you have not subscribed. And stay safe. Peace out. Bye.